response though. Do we bank they're gonna put the Murana mid? No, right? They could run a DK. It could, it could, it could be a to. support, but they it looks like it is Murana mid. It's no, already level two it now. Looks like they maybe want to kill off that boar and then go for the disrupt into arrow combo. Arrow coming through. It's a nice connection there. Good surround by Pilot Dice. Swindles gonna have a very tough time making it out here with the leap coming through. Swindles will be brought down. So first blood to secret. Reward, and this so. is a matchup that can snowball. You die once or twice, the Tiny gets the move speed advantage, and down you go. Avalanche, toss. Will he need the Earth Spirit assist? He will. Boulder Smash coming through. That's a nice connection. Good disruption there by Pilai Die. Will NBB be able to make it out? Jukes through the trees. One more swing. Will bring him down, but Z Freak also low in turn as Limp. Hasted will try to run away, but Puppy's there to cut him off. They keep on. Very good if you want to keep harassing the Tiny. Oh, Swindles. He's becoming the punching bag here for Secret. At least that's the goal as they move in. Onto the Beastmaster, leap forward from Arteezy. Has the arrow ready. Let's it fly. It will connect the level 3 Starfall as well. Tough to juke there. That's a tough gank to dodge. He kind of like pinned himself there up against the, the trees, unfortunately. Now the tower likely to drop his Puppy. Taking point on this one, last hit will go to Arteezy, most likely, as the disruption comes through. They set up with another arrow, another connection on Hanskin, and down he too goes, and the tower as well. So, Bulba here, trying to bully Hanskin a bit. Swindles has been scattered out. They've used the Moonlight Shadow to get vision on him. Good disruption. Follow up, Starfall will come through, and with the Soul Catcher, it's an easy takedown. Get that Blink Dagger, get their level sixes on their supports, and just get more items up and not die as much as. Oh, Swindles caught out again. The disruption is going to buy time for these TPs that are coming in, though. Arrow will connect, but the turn from Limp looking for a bit more with Z Freak joining the fray as well. Will they be able to get the follow up? Boulder Smash, they do, and then they latch onto Arteezy. They will bring him down. Chessy almost dying. The Slark explodes in the midst of it. The double Starfall will end up dying to the Mirana, but Z-Freak chasing forward again, has the boulder smash ready to go here, and just a moment, is gonna try to focus the Pylai die down, chasing deep on the Shadow Demon. Puppy just kind of ignoring it, farming up the mid lane here. A long toss, Swindles in deep, he whips on the axes on the way in, but drags them back on the way out to secure the kill. <laughs> Puppy's still uh, from relatively low HP, but Envy rather healthy. The backup is coming though now. Shadow Demon gonna be the first one in. Quick TP out. Envy, nope, not gonna happen. Swindle slams the door on that, gets the roar off. The heal bomb comes through. Arrow though, hitting only the board. They'll use the Moonlight Shadow to try and disengage, but Bulba's here. The front line tanker, he gets off a Ravage, connects on three. They're gonna bring down the Earth Spirit, looking for a bit more. Swindle's low, great grave there by Hanskin to keep him alive, but is he able to turn the battle? Jesse also dropping low to impetus damage as he lays into Arteezy. They've only so far gotten the Enchantress kill a two for one that's far but with ravage committed they can look for a bit more bulba low up and down the watermelon will crack meanwhile bottom lane highlight die finding hanskin going to work on him a thousand net worth dazzle just getting bullied by this super rich shadow demon with the poison stacks coming out over and over it looks to pop him and he will highlight die a quick and easy solo kill so I think as a response, you guys should start hitting the T3, so the cores have to, uh, are forced to go back. Hello, Chessy moving on in here. It's going to bring Pilot Eye very low. Disruption cooling down. Has no TP. He does get the self-disrupt off. Blink Dagger is going to be ready as the timing, right? Yes, sir. Chessy finding the solo kill. And meanwhile, they've also dragged Puppy in a bit too far. Secret feeding away two kills. Something yeah. Complexity will happily take and use to... Hang on for now, they'll use the Moonlight Shadow to try and disengage, but Limp on the chase, Chessy there with the Pouncy, actually found him too, do they have the detection Z Freak coming in hot, Avalanche is there, and with the Chuck they get the kill, three secret heroes down, and I think Secret recognizing they're not choking out Complexity the way they were a couple moments ago, they do smoke, then move into a Moonlight Shadow and they get the Blink off. Initiation here, onto Limp, he's gonna be gusted, controlled. Z Freak looking to save him, ain't gonna happen. They will lose the Tiny, and now perhaps more Hanskin. Will he make it out? Does TP away, and Secret, struggling to find what look like easy kills. But in fact, they're anything but a Swindles now. We'll get Silence, Hanskin's there behind him. He was gusted as well, but they're turning on to Pilot Eye. They want to bring down the Shadow Demon. It's a pretty big kill. Down the mid lane and then plunging deep into the enemy jungle. They might get the jump here. On to Hanskin, moving into position. They also try to isolate Swindles, but Shadow Demon will back off. They settle for the Dazzle kill. Not catastrophic, but this could be two hero ravage from Bulba, bringing the Beastmaster into position where Arteezy can try to focus him down. Impetus is streaming in, and Puppy not going to let his opposing captain get out without a fight. The Beastmaster drops as well. Terror Blades, or in this case, the Drow Ranger, but a great gust. 
Envy able to lock down Limp right as he jumps in, and oh my god, that damage already almost down to critical HP. The Blake Ravage comes forth from Bulba, locking Limp down, even through the Shallow Grave, they will get the kill, and now they look for more, but they've also managed to roll in and focus Envy in this fight. Still the Marana, healthy for now, chucked up and down, will end up dying, so they lose that double Starfall that is a source of much damage for the team, but it doesn't seem to matter, they still find a secondary kill, bringing down the Tiny, it's Puppy cleaning up, Z-Freak likely to be next, rolls away, gets the Boulder Smash back to safety, and Slark, Tries to join the fray, makes it so far. And you try and time to kill so that his uh, he dies when his Aegis is about to expire. They have like 15 seconds, I think. I think they're gonna lose a Rax by then, Ben, if they do wait, but... You can start the fight right now and just try and hold off. They may have no choice. Arteezy's the one to start it, though. They get eyes on Lift. they're gonna focus him down. He will be grave from the high ground, but Swindled getting caught out here. Silence after the Ravage, the follow-up comes through. Z-Freak not dead yet, but very, very low. Has to turn tail, has to run away. The disruption preventing a full retreat. Swindles will drop. The Rex, the rest likely to follow soon, along with the Rex, I should say. Hanskin almost gets pierced by those puppy impetuses, single-handedly mowing down complexity heroes. This is like shooting fish in a barrel at this point for El Capitan and Secret. Two lanes of Rex, already focusing tier four towers, skipping that bottom lane entirely. They feel the game's in hand, and truth be told, I don't think there are many people at home who would disagree. That's a pretty cool strategy by Secret. I think like they they wanted the armor on like the uh, on the Dazzle, but Dazzle was actually like very useless this game. Like the, the Graves helped a little bit, but I like the super very damage types from Secret. I liked how Puppy ended up getting a lot of farm while still doing a lot of damage early. And I think Limp performed particularly well on the Tiny. He, I think, performed much better than I expected in the middle lane. And they showed some signs of life before they contested first Roche, but after that, it was all downhill, and secrets.